Hey guys, welcome to another commentary done by Diggity. This is going to be BSL Season 14, Round of 16 this time. Group A, we got Rancor starting at the 6 o'clock lo location as the Purple Zerg. Upright and going away of Mittac starting as the Black Zerg. I did not check the map. Shame on me before starting this. This is, oh, that's right, Turbine. I'm going to leave this review, because so we I did a little bit of map preview on Turbine previously. But Turbine, you have the Double Creep Colony. Oddly, you've got a protected inside natural expansion, which might lead to more 12 hatches. ZVZ. The reason it's called Turbine is going to have all these kind of features in the middle. This is one of the maps that's selectable, but this is the first time I'm seeing it anywhere in BSL Season 14. You also have this kind of third that's a mineral only. Uh, I saw some map testing between, I think it was Scan and Kala a very long time ago. I that felt like BSL Season 12. But anyway, here we've got Mittac and Rancor. Rancor, we know has pretty strong ZVZ. Mittac, I don't know the quality of his ZVZ, but I know he's a solid player. Knowing that this, I mean, here's the other factor. I don't know if either player is aware or is familiar with this map as much. It looks like both players are checking the third location with their Overlord. Looks like it is going to be an Overlord first opener for both. So it could be 12 pool versus 12 pool. Could be, could be seeing the 12th hatch right off the bat. Maybe they've practiced this. Maybe they haven't. Upon seeing that protected inside natural expansion, why wouldn't you grab that base? Looks like we're going to see an extractor trick, I assume, from Midtech. No, he's going to plant that extractor. This is an interesting build I don't think I've ever seen. He's planting... Okay, extractor first before spawning pool. A little bit delayed on that. Usually you see them in combo. Rancor doing the same. Opposite corner. So it was just a little bit of a very... A little bit of a delay on the variation. They're, they're throwing me off there. I'm like, you're going to grab the extractor and not grab the spawning pool? What's going on? Anyway. So going for the 12 pool. Both ends. So it's going to come down to micromanagement. Who micros their Zerglings better? And my favor there is probably going to be Rancor. Although what could be a factor is who scouts who first. It looks like, however, Midtac, a little bit more familiar with this map, knows that there's the protected inside expansion right there. And we don't see any motions from Rancor yet. So he might want to produce Zerglings early. To be more aggressive, although, is he going to have sufficient larva? So there's the initial two Zerglings. Still has, and he's going to go immediately to Lair. Upon not being scouted, that's right. Something that Rancor loves doing is playing kind of that defensive uh, style. Although now wandering out, sees that the natural's right here. Might as well go ahead and grab it. Going to be potentially harder to defend. We do have two Zerglings being produced opposite corner. So right now the variation in play is Rancor is going to have a faster Lair. The faster natural expansion is going to be in place for Midtech. And I do feel like with a 12 pool and being able to hold Zerglings up on the ramp, see if the Overlord repositions, like both players have not scouted each other yet at all. And they might be confused as the as to the overall map architecture as well. Overlord's actually scouting each other. It looks like Rancor trying to hide these Zerglings from this Overlord currently. Not building additional Zerglings. Looks like he's going to go ahead and drone up. Right now the drone count dead even. Rancor is going to have the earlier Spire. And here's the other thing. The timing of it is not going to be seen by Midtech. So he's not going to realize that he's behind potentially in the Spire timing. And that is going to give Window specifically to take out Overlords. So Spire now down in the base. So this Overlord is going to be able to wander in to see the Zerglings holding the front and potentially get annihilated. This Overlord's coming back to the protective cusp of home base. This Overlord's potentially exposed. This Overlord, uh, I don't know, that could go either way. Depends whether Rancor wants to run up and try to defend it or not and try to get aggressive with his earlier lair. I don't. So this Overlord, however, is going to confirm faster lair. So yeah, he's going to be able to wander up. Let's see if I can take the vision. That's not the vision I want to get rid of. So yeah, he's going to be able to wander up and see right now uh, that that base. Second gas being grabbed. Second, second gas is up a little bit earlier for mid-tech, but otherwise, supply counts even. Rancor up, well, never mind. Rancor up a drone. And Spire is going to finish a little bit more rapidly. Usually what you want to see happen on mid-tech corners, a couple Zerglings to try to force those mules to stay in place, try to save Overlords, do things like that. Instead, holding position. Just now getting spot. He's going to try to get that Overlord out of here. Rancor also trying to move his Overlord out of position. Spire finishes. And this is the window of, like, I don't know, 20 seconds? That can really be the decider in this match. 
Several mules being produced. Some Scourge are going to need to be produced here for mid tech. He is going to have sufficient troop counts, but what this can result in is his Rancor basically forcing a fight as the Mutalisks are spawning inside his opponent's base over the drone line. So finish right there. We do have two Scourge being produced this side. So yeah, the Mutalisks now being created opposite side, and they are in flight and getting... Looks like they're going to go after the Overlord first. So early win. The Scourge going to fly forward. That's not putting Mitak in the red. Let's see what other damage can be wreaked. Still within that window. The Mutalist just now spawning. Just in time for Scourge to land on two. But keep in mind, with the closer reinforcement point and a little bit more mining time, Mitak has the superior Mutalisks. Rancor are looking for the fight, but with that positioning, some superior micro though from Rancor it looks like. Making his Mutalisks last fairly long. Now going to go ahead and back off. Three of them severely weakened. Three of them decently softened up on Mitak's side. Rancor up significantly in the drone count. Yeah, if he can just keep pouring on the pressure, build more Mulus, get a couple Scourge in the air. He needs to be very, very careful though because, yeah, because of that engagement, because of being inferior numbers, has some very weakened Mutalisk on his side. So as far as we're talking like raw HP, I think he's down in the overall raw HP count despite being up a Mutalisk. If you guys follow what I'm saying there. So Scourge there in the corner, but really a big victory for Mitak that the attack happened right here and not right here. Because if it was here, a lot of those Glaives could have bounced into the drone line and potentially taken out a drone otherwise. Rancor, knowing that he has a slight edge in the overall Mutalisk count, is up three supply, is going to make movements towards the third, able to pick off a drone, just going to go for a nice little attack, pick off a drone, sneak right back out. Great play. So he's taken out an Overlord. He's taken out a drone. He knows he has map control, so he's going to go ahead and sneak this third. He's up three drones and in a uh, really strong position right now, but here comes Mitak. This is a lot of Scourge. A huge amount of Scourge. So it's going to come down to some micromanagement and honestly the counter Scourge being on point. Scourge landing on Scourge. It looks like several of them landed on this side. Overlord's disrupting some of the attack from Mitak, and Mitak scrambling to get out. And as everything clears, we've got seven left. Rancor with the superior Mutalist count by a large margin now. Wandering up, getting additional Mutalist picked off in moving attack, and that is going to be GG for Mitak. Lights out. Rancor. Making that small lead a big lead. Wiping out that Air Force. And yeah, that, that should definitely be GG. Usually you see a GG right there. Mitak still wants to fight it out, but this is almost a full... This is technically a full control group of Mutalists now wandering into the natural expansion. Some of them splitting off to wipe out the drones. No second gas now. Scourge landing, but it's not going to make a difference. And you're going to see more troops make the way this direction. There's GG from Mitak. Rancor takes the match. He'll be up a game. And I believe this is the best of three. Thanks for listening.